Trust him, man. You be confusing me, man. You really be confusing me. I mean, I, I, you was crying over Crip, man. And don't get me wrong, I understand it's a sad situation. Uh, you know, I can see how you want to cry and say all the stuff you did and all that shit. When you say you pimping the internet, nigga, you really pimping the internet for real. You really is pimping the internet, bro. I said, this nigga didn't call the police on Crip Mac. You didn't did. You didn't call the police on this partner in jail, trying to get his partner's cell phone took. You didn't call them all kind of stupid motherfuckers and all this shit. Just when you went on your Cali Terror, you know, Crip Mac was at the brunt of your Cali Terror. I just watched another one where he was on a whole little tear. I fuck with you, though, but it's like, man, this nigga, wait, it really, I ain't gonna lie. Because, see, I'm, I, I got good intentions. I got good intentions, you know what I'm saying? But I seen you pimp the internet, and I seen how many people was gullible for the shit you was doing that wouldn't notice the fucked up shit that you would do. And I said, damn, I can do that shit. And I'm going to be a positive one. I ain't going to have no sinister motives. I ain't going to have no... And see, the thing is... I realize you don't mean no harm. You just you just a little throwed off. See, with every every brilliance, with every, with every brilliant person comes a little insanity, but then some people is not aware of their insanity as much as you are. Nigga, you don't be in character, nigga. That really be you. You really jealous of Cali for brainwashing you. You really jealous of that. You really mad about how Cali brainwashed. But don't get mad because Cali brainwashed everybody in the late 80s, early 90s. The West Coast brainwashed the whole nation, so don't be so mad. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you crying and shit. And I mean, don't get me wrong. It's something that makes you cry. It's something, it's sad. Show you my, show you my back real quick. I got sidetracked, I wanna show you. Anyway, yeah, it make you wanna cry, yeah. It, it's, but it's just, see that's where, okay. You ready to cry for Crip Mac, but you ready to spit on Nipsey Gray. You ready to say, We love you, Crip Mac, and my nigga, we, da, 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 da. but you ready to say, You're, you're Nipsey turning into maggots, and you're piss on his grave, and fuck Nipsey. I, I'm just confused, because, like, yeah, Crip Mac famous, he put on for the Crips, but, like, Nipsey was opening up black businesses, he had the marathon, he spoke real positively, he changed his life around. So I don't understand. Is it is it more disrespect for Nipsey? Because that's when that's a time in your career when you want to shock everybody. Like I want to shock everybody now. So fuck DMX, fuck Pimp C, fuck Nipsey. Did he get caught up in your little? Because you went through a little phase where you was like trying to be like OG Percy, but you thought you was hella hard. Then you went through the fuck the Muslims phase. You know. Then you went through the fuck of the dead people phase. Then you went through the fuck Cali phase. So is this like did 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 um, I'm trying to think did. Nipsey just get caught up in your fuck dead person, fuck dead people, shock value fed. And see, that's what I'm saying. I fuck with you, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. The pastor could be hooping and hollering, man. He could be doing his thing, man. He could be really feeling this game. And I could really be into the message. But as soon as that nigga passed that collection plate around too many times, as soon as he say some shit like, yeah, my mink coat and my lovely wife just got the, our, our Cadillac and... I was fucking with you, man. Charleston, I was fucking with you, man. I was. Until you started talking about... Like, this whole California terror is just really, really... And I mean, don't get me wrong. I know we a bad influence. You know, I understand Cali is a bad influence on a lot of shit. I get it. I understand that. It's true. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of personal with you. It's kind of, it's real personal with you. But I just like, what's the difference between Crip Mac and Nipsey? I'm trying to figure out like, it's fuck this Crip, I'll piss on this Crip grave. I think you even said some shit about digging up Nipsey or some shit. But then you crying for this one. So you just emotional wreck, man. You just, a, you don't, you don't really know what's going on. But I fuck with you, but that's what make your shit so genuine because you just kind of throw it off a little bit. See, you saying fuck Nipsey counsels you out from feeling bad for Crip Mac because you already said fuck Cribs, fuck Nipsey. 
And I think Nipsey was more of an upstanding person than Crip Mac was. Crip Mac kind of seemed like a big kid a little bit. I guess he more of a... You would feel comfortable around Crip Mac because you probably could outwit him and probably out talk him or whatever. But Nipsey, you know, Nipsey would probably look at you like he was a, a bum or something or... Nipsey looked better than you. Nipsey was younger. Nipsey probably would have made you feel uncomfortable. So you feel more comfortable giving, you know, uh, Crip Mac his love. But it's, it's fuck Nipsey. So I get it. You know what I'm saying? I, but it just, you really pimping. I give it to you, boy. Crying and stuff. I said, look. I say, boy, this nigga here is, you a cold piece of work, boy. You a cold piece because you went from. Saying fuck up to crying. And I mean, I get it. My heart went out too. I made one earlier about what happened to Crip Mac. I don't like gangs neither. You know what I'm saying? But just, you got to start being accountable for the shit you do. You got to start being, like you should have just sat back and said, well, man, I can't say nothing about this because I mean, I already dogged all the Crips. I already dogged Nipsey. Man, that's fucked up. You might have could have said just a little piece, but for you to try to turn this into, this is your next little phase. Like you didn't, this is your, this is your next little wave. Now it's, it's got a lot of views. You just you know, made two videos about it, so you riding this out, and I think I think you respected the fact that Crip Mac didn't respond to you, so that made you like him even more. You was why you was terrorizing Crip Mac, waking up talking about him every day, talking talk, talk about him like a dog. He never responded to you. All he said was, "It's a casket for Cuz, fuck Cuz." That's all he said. He never entertained entertained you, and I thought that was wrong of him to do that. But uh, yeah, I got a love and hate relationship with you. It's from a good place, but you just, you kind of like just a, I mean, you just, you just kind of irresponsible with your gift almost. It's like, that's, that's what it is. You irresponsible with your gift. That's what I think it is. You're like a kid, you're like a kid that'll say, you can't ride my bike. You can't play with my toy. No, you can't play with it. And then when the other kid get a toy and start playing with it, you'll come over there and start crying and try to tell him for not letting you play with his toy. You kind of one of them type of people. You know what I'm saying? You know, you kind of like a killer that a snitch when the pressure get on. A killer that the the mm -hmm. most the most certified killer in the whole clique, and then you're gonna take everybody down when you get caught. You one of them type. You just one of them type of niggas. It's just you you irresponsible with your gift. You know what I'm saying? But I get it though. You when they, when you say you pimping the internet, nigga, you mean that shit. You ain't playing. You really pimping the internet. I say, people all in the comments, man, it's the realest thing I ever heard Charleston White say. Man, that's crazy, man. Like, I, I used to not respect Charleston, but now I have a whole, like, people really, really falling for your game because you didn't even have me kind of, even I had to, you know, I had to bounce, but shake it off and remember who the fuck I am. I, you know, had me and almost had that lump in my throat because then I had to remember who the fuck I am. And I had to remember who the fuck you are. You you really pimping the internet, my nigga.